right, so right now we are inside doing the red light therapy. I'm gonna actually drop on the screen all of the benefits of red light therapy, but this is actually my second time doing it. Uh, I'm not gonna say I saw like immediate results, but there were a few results that I wanted to try to come back and replicate with it being a slight boost in energy, help my knee heal slightly a little bit better. So there's a couple benefits that I kind of want to expand on a little bit, but if you guys never tried it, I recommend, especially the first time. It's not really hot. The only thing about it, it does kind of mess with the colors in your eyes for just like a couple minutes. But other than that, it's like real smooth. You just stand here for like 20 minutes or so, kind of relax, meditate, do all kind of things. And yeah. <sighs> all right, guys. So we did the red light therapy. It worked out great. I had a real relaxing time in there. But now we're about to do something that I haven't done yet in here. So if you don't know, I'm at a place called Restore Wellness there. Something like that. I have to get the actual name. What's this place called? Restore? Restore Heart. Restore Hyper Wellness done with it. So we're about to do cryotherapy. First time doing it. I'm not a fan of the cold. I grew up in Atlanta, so you know <laughs> we don't do the cold, but this is what the chambers look like. It's hey two guys. of them. It's about to get interesting. Like I said, yeah. See that? Pre-chamber, you're on this side for 15 seconds. You'll walk over to the left side. Yeah, and then you'll be over here. Might have been there for quite a while, but I mean I'm excited. I got a bad knee, so I need it. I need everything I can get up out of it. So it's about to be exciting, but we about to get changed. Jews about to get changed, and then we about to head up in there. All right, so I'm about just about outfitted out. Put my gloves on, get my headband on, put these on. So I'll just keep you from, I guess, getting frostbite, I would assume, you know, because it's gonna get extremely cold. We only gonna be in there for about three minutes or so tops. We about to see how this goes. I mean, like I said, I got a bad knee, so whatever I can use to help me to get this thing to bend, to get my actual range of motion back, I'm not opposed, but we're about to see how this goes. We may make this like a weekly thing, you know? It may just be something I can come back and do weekly to really, you know what I'm saying? Just get my body right. Now, obviously, the chamber is probably like negative 50 degrees. I couldn't take the phone in there, but just just know it was, it was freezing. It was freezing. <sighs> so we just finished up, and I'm gonna be honest, that was freezing, like, that was, that was very, very cold. Like, I was in there shivering trying to sing Drake. But we made it, we did a whole two minutes and 45 seconds, so it wasn't even that long. I think our my temperature went from like 90 degrees in my body down to like 50 or something like that. So yeah, that was, that was an experience, but now I'm hungry. Gotta yeah, get some food after we just, you know, we came in, we took care of our bodies. Now it's time to go eat and relax a little bit. So I've come to the conclusion that I don't really like eating on YouTube. So we just gonna go straight to Sandbox VR. Incoming! Ah! Oh shit! I said, let's do it. to the city um, and had a few socks man they're good quality we're trying to get back right before the holidays yeah 
man. We about to have, about to go out here and do it. Do it. Yeah. Let's go make it happen. So it's a little chilly out here, but you know we got a box of socks. Adam got a bag. Try to get out as many as we can. Um, yeah, man. Like I said, we're just trying to get back before the holidays. And it's a good way to start. With more to come. Like I said, we got a toy drive being planned, so stay tuned for that. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. So here's what we did. This entire video, every single clip was shot only on my iPhone. Now, I know people ask me all the time, what's a good camera to get me started, blah, blah, blah. There it is. This is straight off my iPhone. Every single clip, every single thing, all of it. So that, that we did it. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a bunch of clips that I had just kind of been stockpiling. And apologies for not continuing Vlogmas, but there were a lot of things that happened that I'm just not even gonna get into, to be honest. But we've come up with a plan, especially with the phone being so simple, to just really just kind of stockpile footage into like this cinematic feel and just kind of drop it for you guys. So stay tuned for that. But again, I love you, Ken Folk. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.